folks, my lovely army folks. How's it going? How's it going, man? I'm just taking a quick moment to just check in with you. The main reason why I haven't been doing a lot of, I just want to take a second. I got to talk about Jungkook for a minute, man. I'm a, I, it just hit me that I, I have to get into his, 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 his solo vibe for a minute, especially considering my time is like one of my favorite, literally one of my favorite songs of all time. So I, I, I got, I haven't even heard, uh, seven yet. Like, honestly, I, I've been so busy, like, especially right now, I'm working on a very personal, not very personal, but I'm working on a personal project. I, I barely got time to sleep. It's occupying literally all of my time. I don't even have time to sleep. So that's why I'm gonna have to give you these raw talk videos like this. I'm gonna give you some great insight and a style that, you know, that's unique to me and my brand and you won't really find anywhere else. That's another thing. I don't like to make videos just for the sake of making videos. When I press record, I wanna have something to talk about, you know, to really talk about. But this project is literally consuming all of my time. Uh, and it will for the next probably three to four weeks. So you're gonna have to get it like this. And I'd rather give you something than give you nothing. But I don't have time to to edit the videos and make it this and that. I, I just don't. Okay. I'm really involved with this uh, with this personal project. It's taking a lot of my time. I barely got time to sleep. But um, I did want to take just a quick second uh, to talk about Jungkook. Okay, um, to collect my thoughts and articulate my thoughts, one thing that I love about Jungkook and what he's doing in his solo pursuit is he seems to be shooting to somehow or another get established in the commercial American music market. Clearly, the seventh single had Lotto, and I see his next single gonna have Jack Harlow on it. And you could tell, like, he's just in this perfect demographic with the whole thing. Like, he knows what he's doing. And I wanna take a second to talk about it again. I haven't even heard the song yet. Um, uh, Cause I wanna react to it. That's just the sacrifices that I make when I do that. Um, and if I haven't said it, you're gonna have to get these videos just raw like this. I don't have time to edit it, and I'd rather give you something than give you nothing. Anyway, um, I feel like that has to be the next career step and move for uh, for for BTS. I feel like it, it has to be like, that would just put the icing on the cake. And I've actually been thinking about this personally. I've actually been thinking about this personally. You know, I was like, you know, it's, 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 it's cool. And, and that's another thing about this video. That's another thing about this video is I, I don't wanna just talk the typical talk that you could get anywhere else. I, I really want to dig in a little bit and, and give you something, especially if I'm just going to give you a raw talking video like this. I want to dig and really give you something of value. So I've been thinking about this lately, that BTS have pretty much mastered their game. They've mastered them. And it's almost like an elephant in the room that in the commercial American music market and industry, um, or I'll say industry, because I think they got a good market. They definitely do well in the market. It's more about the industry itself. Um, because BTS is so original, they're so them, you know, they're real artists, 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 and they don't play the commercial game too much. Um, the flip side of that coin, because I do believe that life is all in perfect balance. So 
on one side, you get this beautiful artistry, this beautiful music, this beautiful stuff. But on the flip side of that coin is you got to understand the, 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 the music industry is like probably the most political industry on the freaking planet. It's more political than politics itself, from my understanding and in my opinion. And... You know, you, you, I, I'm, I'm going to be real with you, okay? I know we all into Robert Greene and the 48 Laws of Power and, and, and stuff like that. I, I know we're into it. It's one of the biggest selling books of all time. So I know a lot of people reading that stuff. So the way the world works a little bit is if you want to get ahead, you got to play these games, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get ahead in these people world, you got to play their game a little bit. So the flip side of BTS, B, and again, this is not typical talk, but I'm in a stage where I, I'd rather give you something to really chew on than just sit here and run a whole bunch of whatever out of my mouth and it's just typical and it sounds like everything that's coming from anywhere else. I'm a little over that. I'm a little tired of that. Another reason why I haven't been making videos is honestly, I've been educating myself quite a bit. You know what I'm saying? Learning about the world, learning about how it works, learning about how we operate and function as human beings. So I'm really coming from a whole nother level, um, especially in that fort. And I, I want to push things forward, man. We've done memes for, for far too long. We've done it enough. Everything is always a joke. Read any comment section. It's all jokes. It's all laughing emojis. That was fun. That was cool. Nobody likes to play more than me. Trust me. I got fired from jobs because I play too much. So trust me. Nobody plays more than me. But I'm in a stage where I want to move things forward. I want to evolve and I want a better world and a better society. Anyway. So that's why I'm giving you, I'm, I got to come at you a little bit different. And that's how my content is going to be moving forward. It's not going to be typical stuff. Anyway, in order to get ahead in that world, in that market, you kind of have to play their game a little bit. You kind of got to, you, 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 you got to hold hands and kiss babies. That's, that's. The way it works. So I actually got a lot of respect. And it's just so extremely interesting how that is where Jung Cook, and he's honestly probably the perfect person to do it. The perfect person to do it. He's the youngest. He got that vibe. He got that energy. He got that audience. He got that that, that he just got it. He got it. And he is the perfect person person to do this and I wouldn't be surprised if they even planned this and they strategize this because it blows my mind how much BTS knows what they're doing their level of self-awareness blows my mind in ways I can't even tell you okay so I wouldn't be surprised if this was even planned but I love that he's going there because you want to know what then further happens after this you know this little Stupid conversation about who paved the way that really gets me edgy. You can see I'm already turning up in my energy just talking about it because we all know who really did. But you know, that stupid conversation is going to go to a rest. It's going to be done because once BTS get market share in the com American commercial music industry, and then people really start to tune into them and they really start to get a lot of that recognition that they really, 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 truly deserve. That conversation is not going to exist no more. It's going to be clear who paved the way. I mean, it's clear now, but that conversation going to be gone. That's just people being people. That's how people get down. That's just how they are. And it's cool. I understand it, you know, but that's just going to be one of the benefits of this. So anyway, man, I just wanted to take a quick second, drop a little couple words, just a quick video to say I love 
the angle that Jungkook decided to take for his um solo. I love it. I love it. I love it. It was a brilliant, brilliant career move. Just like Sugar going on a freaking world tour. It was a brilliant career move. And you know, I, 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 I'm a sugar bias, literally, not just because that's a, a buzzword, but no, I'm literally biased towards sugar. But I'm not going to lie, man. I, it's, it's, I, it's, it's really OT7. It, 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 it seriously is OT7 because by Jungkook doing this, I cannot exclude him out of my mind to say, oh no, this one wants it more. You know what I'm saying? I made a video about that, about going nuts, about sugar. Just, I'm sorry. In my opinion, I feel like he, he, he. I don't want to say he wants it more, but just. Anyway, Jungkook is totally making me retract that. And J-Hope do too, man. J-Hope is not. Man, they, here we go. We could go down this road all day. They're all amazing, incredible artists. Hell, I might even, I might have a change of heart. Um and, and 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 stop. I mean, sugar's gonna be my bias and my favorite, but I might stop being so biased towards him and just kind of open up my mind a little bit and see that they all really, 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 truly are samurai warriors. They 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 all are warriors. Every freaking last one of them, man. So I, I might have to open up my heart a little bit, uh, humble myself a little bit and say, nah, it's all of them. Because especially when Jungkook is coming with this, there's no way I could just say Sugar's the only one or V1 who wants it the most. They, it's just different styles. I think I'm gonna make a video about this too, man, when I really get the time to go into it on the level I want to. I think it's just different styles. It's just different flavor. You got a banana over here. You got a pineapple over here. You got strawberries over here. You got honeydew melon over here. Just take your pick. It's all delicious. It's all beautiful. It's all great. I think it's just a matter of just, well, sometimes you want a banana. Sometimes you want watermelon. It's, it's different fruits, different tastes, but they all taste beautiful. So, I, I think I've, I've humbled myself a little bit. I've matured myself a little bit in that aspect to say I, I, I can't just say that Sugar is the only one who really, 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 really wanted. I, I can't do that. Especially after the way this man is moving. It's, it's, in fact, I apologize for saying that and probably not realizing that it's really been OT7 the whole time. Sugar's my guy, though. That will never change. That cannot change. That it just can't change. I have a spiritual connection with this guy that's never going to change. But they, yeah. Yeah. I hope y'all enjoyed this kind of content, man. I'm going to have to give it to you like this for a good three, four weeks, man. I'm just in this personal, uh, in this big personal project. I don't know if I said this. In this big personal project. I literally haven't even had time to sleep. I barely got time to sleep. So I'm gonna have to shoot it to you like this and I'd rather give you something than give you nothing. It's, it makes me feel horrible to go so long and not do videos because I can't make it what I wanna make it with the bells and the whistles and the music and all that. I just ain't got time for that right now. I seriously don't, I'm deep in a, in a personal project but I'd rather give you something than give you nothing. So I just had to take a second to talk about the homie Jungkook. And this amazing thing that's just happening in the world, man. Let's, it's, it's time, man. I'm, 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 trust me, behind the scenes, when I come back, you're going to know when I come back. Because from now on, I'm, I'm giving you something. When you click on a video from me, you're going to get something. And not just the same thing as everybody else. That's real. That's love. What I hate, OT7. We gone.